87 prior playings of the Masters means millions of people have come through these gates and thousands of men have played. Of all those people, less than 100 have been witness to one of the most special and defining events of Masters Week. Every Masters Tuesday since 1952, at 6 p.m. sharp, a celebration in honor of and hosted by the reigning champion. While I was growing up dreaming about being a Masters champion, I never once thought about what that dinner would be like in the future. I'm a little bit out of sorts because I don't know what to expect. It's literally members only, with only past champions and the Masters chairman in attendance. It's a very exclusive club to be in, and it'd certainly be cool to be a Norwegian and a Scandinavian. You get a group of champions like that. It's special because of that, and what happens in that room stays in that room kind of thing. The glimpse we get of the scene, a single photo, and usually a post as the menu is released in advance. Oh boy, there's been some good ones. We've had a fair bit of variety over the years. Traditionally, it's an array of items served inspired by the culture of the hosting champion. I served elk as the main course. We had uh, salmon from the Pacific, and we had Canadian beers and wines. Sergio served up paella. I kind of went with what the guys are going to like to enjoy the evening. Steak, and I served my mum's dessert that I've eaten since I was a kid, and the kitchen did a great job of preparing that, and good wine. Steak and good wine is a big hit in that room. Hideki's menu a couple of years ago was so great. We had some great Kobe steak. The sushi was just phenomenal. That's been my favorite meal. It was pretty tough following up Hideki's meal. Mine was, I think, more of just like a backyard barbecue type of vibe. The tortilla soup was a little bit spicy for some of the older guys around the table. Outside of that, I think it was, it was pretty well received. So the food is something special, but the awe factor of the newest member is something else. Pretty wild, just sitting around the table, getting to enjoy that with everybody. It's the most nerve-wracking part of the week, it's a champion's dinner. Possibly because past champions I've talked to, they say they ought to give a speech, and some of them said, yeah, I was fine until I stood up, looked to my left, and I see Jack Nicholas, Arnold Palmer, Gary Player, Tiger Woods, Phil. It's about camaraderie, being shoulder to shoulder with living legends, and hearing the stories of great champions' dinners past. Listening to Gary Player talk about Hogan gets the entire table's attention. You know, the mystique of Hogan is really strong, even, even for the guys who were there playing with him. The people involved uh, who you'd be rubbing shoulders with, and I'm sure there's some pretty awesome stories that you would probably remember forever. When Arnold Palmer addressed the group, I was told that it was very emotional, and to be sitting in a room and hear any stuff like that too would just be surreal. For those waiting in the wings, hopefully all in due time. Until then, John Rahm, the table is set for you. Being able to share that evening with all these great champions as one of them is, is so, so special. That's the hard thing to wrap your head around, right? Like this is something I will be able to do for the rest of my life.